Whoa, hey there, Trolley. It looks like you're having too much fun. Basking in the glory of the lizard. The lizard skins. Yes, it matches your hair. You little rascal. Get out of here, you're gonna get cut. Yeah, yeah, Trolley's really excited about uh, these lizard skins. Look at that smile on his face. Hey, lizard skin, meh. Okay, get out of here, little rascal. Yes, I've been bitten by the lizard. For sure. Um, and Case, if you hadn't noticed, I've been bit by Case bug a while ago. Uh, this is my first Tony Bowes Panama Trapper and Lizard Skin. I have a video of this in my archives if you'd like to check it out. Beautiful knife. Call it the Giant Pickle. Also, uh, recently I picked up the Shepherd Hills exclusive Lizard Skin Sodbuster Jr. I can't believe it took them so long to release this. And when they did it, it's $49.99, $50. Jumped on this in a heartbeat. Fantastic knife. So recently I was on eBay. I generally don't look for stuff on eBay, but every once in a while I'm on there and something pops up. And this is a copperhead in lizard skin from 2021. It was the vault pattern from 2021. And of course, you know, so I started bidding on it and then I got outbid and I was in the sixties and, uh, you know, I saw the highest bid was 69 and there was five hours left before bedtime. And I'm like, you know, I, I recently picked up this 6.5 stag copperhead and I was blown away that Shepherd Hills had it. And I spent like 73 bucks, maybe 74. I, no, I was actually it was 73 bucks. And, um, really cool deal. This was my first copperhead. Um, uh, I really liked the pattern. They are actually three and seven inch, inch closed with a three inch blade. And, um, just kind of cool. Good jackknives. And, and so this came up and I'm like, well, $69, it's $4 shipping. I'm like, 69 bucks. I'm like, so I put a bid in for 70 and next morning I won. So 70 in shipping, 74 bucks, pretty much almost the same price as this. And I think that's what these were going for when they first came out. And these may have been a little cheaper. They may have been in the sixties, but, uh, who cares? You know, I'm never going to find one of these again. I've never seen one for sale. I didn't even know they made the copper head and lizard skin. Yeah. So thank you, Doom Crew Outdoors for introducing me to this awesome cover material. Um, and I will get more in the future. I know I will. Shepherd Hills, they released a Stockman, a small, or you might call it a mini Stockman, and um, also a mini Trapper. And I love mini Trappers. And I was about to order a mini Trapper, and then guess what? They popped up with the 2024 vault pattern of the Razor Knife. So now I'm like, which one am I going to get? Guess I'll just have to get one at a time slowly. So yeah, um, the, the copperhead is a jackknife and I, I had measured it on my measuring board, which really sucks. It made it look like it was four inches, but no, if you look at this, it is actually three and seven eighths inch handle length. And then the blade is exactly three inches. So this is UK legal. It's a non-locking blade. Uh, the cutting length would be, I'd say two and five eighths inch so the tang is a little bit bigger than their usual quarter of an inch um and it's a very unique clip point blade compared to a trapper i have one here to compare they have half stops so it has a really nice snap now uh this was they said it was used but basically light new condition it came in the box this was manufactured uh may 3rd 2021 you got the bright, burnt bright green bone corn cob jig. I do love the corn cob jib, jigging, excuse me. And what I like about these copper heads is that they come with a really 
a sizable pen blade. Let's get this out of here. Pretty sizable pen blade. Uh, I'm going to compare this to other jackknives. So it's uh, about two and a quarter inches long with a cutting length of Well, that seems weird. No, let me get back there. Um, I'd say it's a uh, two and yeah, it's about two and a quarter inches long with cutting length of, of just under two inches. Another half stop, great snap. So let's compare the copperhead. They call it a copperhead. They don't call it a jackknife, but it's obviously a jackknife. Let's compare it. So I recently picked up the, they call it the small Texas Jack, which I'd consider a medium sized jackknife. You can see the size difference there. Clip blade difference. And this is just the case medium Jack. So you can see the size difference there, but they all have clip point blades and they all have pin blades and that's it. Now these are very, these two are very similar to their Stockman's, but instead of the pen blade there, they'll have the sheep's foot and either a pen blade on back or a spade blade. Actually, I got one right here, for example. Of course, it's more of a California clip. But you can see it, the sizes are, are very similar. I don't want to get all too crazy in comparing too many patterns, but I just wanted to show how this is like a larger jackknife. Let's compare it to a trapper. I guess a trapper is actually considered a jackknife too. It's got two blades coming out of the same end. That's the definition of a jackknife. One or two blades out of the same end. So you can see a full-size case trapper. Uh, I think this is four and an eighth inch clothes length. You can see the blade lengths differ different. You can see the difference between the clip point blades. And I'm a huge Trapper fan. And it comes with the awesome giant spay blade for spreading my peanut butter. But uh, you can see how the clip point is definitely longer on the Trapper. So being a, I call it a jackknife, it, it's, it's definitely a really cool and unique pattern. Let's compare these pen blades. And by the way, I haven't showed you the fit and finish on it yet, but um, blades perfectly centered. It has not been sharpened. It came with the original box. I generally don't like getting stuff on eBay because you get charged shipping and taxes and then they charge you taxes on shipping. I don't, I do not know why, but Still a fantastic deal on this. So you can see the Texas Jack has a sizable pen blade. For sure. Very cool knife. These uh, jack knives do not have half stops. Some people prefer half stops. Some people don't. You can use it the same. You can close it like that and then close it. This has a fantastic snap, by the way, the medium jack. They have them in synthetic orange, which I almost want to get because I'm a huge orange fan. Uh, purple barn board. A few others. Uh, very really cool knife. If I could change the lighting here without it going out. I don't know if that's much better. Bit by the lizard. What am I going to do? I guess I'm going to get a mini trapper. I'm going to get a razor knife. I wonder if they're going to come out with a full size trapper. Lord knows I have plenty of mini trappers. I think I'd really like a full size trapper in this uh, cover material. Great knife. Like I said, UK legal. Uh, they just don't make them 
and they're just, they're kind of popping up like how I found this. Never thought I would find this. I'm glad I held out to buy my first uh, copperhead because this popped up. I'm very happy expanding my 6.5 stag collection. And, and then I, I guess I really lucked out finding this on eBay. I've never seen one. Never seen one for sale. Uh, so I don't want to get too crazy. Thank you for joining me, everybody. I really appreciate it. Trolley is so happy. Lizard skin. Bathing in the lizard skin. Yeesh. Yes, it's like a, a in the spa, the lizard skin spa. Trolley's having a great time. Thank you for joining me. You guys have a fantastic Friday. Take care, be kind, take chances, and stay sharp.